All right, so I've got one question and a little bit of story. So let's start with my question. And that question goes to you, the viewer. All right, so I need a new subwoofer and I want to know what you would recommend me. Ha, the tables have turned, right? So I'm going to get into some details upstairs. My room is 23 by 16. And like one of the sides, the roof starts at eight feet tall, right? So the volume of that rectangle is 2944 cubic feet. Also, on top of that is a triangle because the roof goes up 14 feet on the other end. So we've got this triangle that sits on top of a rectangle. And with a little bit of basic math, we can figure out that the whole space is 4,048 cubic feet. All right, so one, we've got 4,048 cubic feet. And it also opens to a kitchen and stairwell, but you know, let's just keep it at that rectangle with the triangle on top of it. Two. It's got to look good, okay? It's going in the living room. It's got to look good. Just can't just be like big ass speaker in the corner. I mean, I've had plenty of really big ported subwoofers. I kind of feel like maybe a sealed or two, maybe in different locations. I don't know. Another thing to consider is I have my subwoofers on an Aurelux platform to decouple the subwoofers from the floor. And that is 22 inches by 18 inches. So keep that in mind. I want to kind of fit in that dimension right so what do you guys think 212s 410s 215s an 18 i don't know you tell me with my you know things that i like and my room dimensions and volume of the space what do you think okay that's the question that is the question which subwoofer should i check out so here's the story last time i actually bought a subwoofer i think was in 2016 when i got one from Klipsch. Coincidentally, it was also free because they were giving away subwoofers when you bought tower speakers. So I just bought the tower speakers, got the subwoofer. I ended up selling that subwoofer because I was going to review subwoofers. And over the past like six years, this YouTube channel's seven years, this YouTube channel's been going on. I've had a bunch of different subs from a lot of different companies. SVS, Rel, Monoprice. There's been a few that obviously I haven't had in this room so i'd like to check out some new stuff so i'd love to hear your suggestions now i know you're like well techno dad why do you need a subwoofer i have two 15 inch uh rail subwoofers they're both sealed and they're the 1508s one of the subs the amp is going bad i can hear that happening and yeah i could replace it you know and wait for it to get fixed but i don't know I haven't owned a sub or I haven't bought a sub or I haven't paid for a sub since that free one I got in 2016, that Klipsch one. So I am looking to spend a little dough. So I want your suggestions and that's kind of what's happening. Bottom line is one of my subwoofers is dying. So I figure this is a good opportunity to go subwoofer shopping and take you guys along for the ride. So we'll see what you guys come up with and I'll make another video of what I've narrowed it down to, and then I'll make a third video of which one I've bought, and I'll let you guys know when that happens, and I'll make a awesome, awesome subwoofer video when the new sub gets here, whatever that sub happens to be. So yeah, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.